Today, I'd like to talk about the big issue going on in the NFL right now, and that is the Richard Incognito Jonathan Martin story in Miami. Now, at first it appeared that uh, Martin left the team for reasons that seemed kind of unknown, um, but soon came out that uh, Richard Incognito, his fellow lineman, uh, was basically bullying him, um, telling him to do things he didn't want to, uh, threatening to kill him, calling him the N-word. Um, very inappropriate behavior. And a lot of NFL players have justified this, saying that, oh, it's hazing, you have to be part of the... Uh, to get in the club, you have to do certain things, you have to act a certain way. I'm going to say this is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. Uh, I don't care if it's been around forever. Uh, I know like Cameron Wake's like, oh, it's just part of, it's just hazing. This has been around forever. Same with Chad Johnson. Oh, it's just the locker room mentality. It doesn't matter if it's been around forever. It doesn't matter if that's the locker room mentality. This is bullying and this should not be accepted at, in the NFL. Um, this, you should be able to go to work doing something you love. Um, yes, I know they get paid a lot, but that does not give people the right to bully them. I don't think they should be screamed at and yelled at and berated by coaches. I don't think that there should be a hazing process to get into the club. Why should you have to act cool uh, to fit in, to be part of the NFL? That's not right. This is not middle school. This is a profession. This is a very uh, well-paying profession, but they should be treated like people. They are still employees they are still human beings, and they should be treated like that. And so this whole NFL culture of locker room mentality, it needs to stop, and it needs to stop now. Um, if the NFL does not act soon, um, I think there's big, big problems here. Uh, they need to come down, make a statement saying that this type of behavior will not be accepted, uh, change the culture of the NFL. Um, because you can tell that NFL players are not that upset about this, and they should be. Um, yes, they may say, oh, it's racist, oh, it's that, but it's part of the culture. I don't, I don't give a damn, okay? It needs to change. And I, personally, will stop watching the NFL next year if they don't make some sort of statement, some sort of action to stop this culture, because it's wrong. We are not in middle school anymore. We are not in high school. This is the NFL, this is a job, and they should be treated like human beings and not like dummies.